Hello everyone. We will continue the topic how to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment. And in the previous video, we verified that yes, our mail is perfectly going fine into the inbox of SAP user. Now we will go for the external user. Now remember, whenever we want to send a mail to external recipient through SAP, we always, always require a SMTP protocol. You all know SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol. With the help of that only, the mails are going to the inbox. Now from SAP, if we are sending within SAP, then at that point of time, no SMTP protocol required. But if we are sending the mail to external recipient, which is outside SAP, then at that point of time, SMTP protocol is required. Now, in my current system, my current SAP system have, do not have the configuration of SMTP. So, I cannot show you in my inbox, but we have a transaction code. With the help of that transaction code, we can easily, easily verify that everything is perfectly fine from our end or not. And the name of the transaction code is SOST. Generally in the projects, yes, if SMTP is not configured, yes, but still you can verify each and everything that from your end, everything is fine with the help of SOST transaction code. If you are able to see the entry in SOST transaction code, it means everything is perfectly fine. After that, only SMTP protocol configuration is required, which basis person will do and mail will go to the inbox. Yes. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply now go for external recipient. So I will comment now SAP user process. This is our SAP user. So I will comment this and now I will uncomment this. I'm uncommenting the external recipient. Now along with this, I will just do a change here. I will set the send send set send immediately to inactive. I will show you why. Firstly, we will make it inactive. Then I will make it active also. For the best understanding, firstly, I will show you through inactive. Then I will show you through active. So now I will put a breakpoint. So I will directly put a breakpoint onto this create internet address because previously part we already understood in the debugging. I will go for running of the program. I will give the sales document number. Now we are creating the external email address. You can see as of now, this object is blank. Whenever this method will execute, the object will create. So we created the first external recipient. Now we will create the ext another external recipient also because we are going for two external recipient. Now you can see as of now, the object is blank. Now the object is created. Now both the objects are created. Now we are adding those as a recipient. We are calling the instance method through the object 
object is created yes so we added the first recipient and we added the second recipient also now we are preparing the body of the meal we are passing the we were passing the body of the meal we are passing the title of the meal document classification is raw and it will return the object of the document class and you can see the object of document class created now we are adding the attachment this is the subject of the pdf attachment in this internal table we have the pdf content in binary format we are simply simply calling the method through the object through this object and yes the object is created so i can call the instance method everything is fine now we are setting the linkage between both the classes in the previous video, I explained this full part. In this video, our focus is on external email address. Now I set send send immediately to false. I make it inactive. Now important part will come here. If LV underscore result is true, it means everything is fine lv underscore result is true it means everything is fine in case of external recipient commit to work is compulsory compulsory now we are going for commit work and the job has been closed now there is no smtp protocol so i cannot show you my inbox as of now so what I will do, I will go to SOST transaction code. You can always, always go to this transaction code. And you can see we have two email. We have two email. We have two entries. And what is the status as of now? Waiting. I will go one by one. Have you seen why two entries? Because we have two external recipient. If I will go to first entry, if I will double click, I'll simply, simply rather than double click, I will go to display. You can see this is the PDF attachment we gave. Same to same thing. This is the body of the mail. This is the subject of the mail itself. And this is our external recipient. You can see we have one more entry. We have one more entry for another email address. And you can see same to same thing is there. It means everything is perfectly fine from our end. If you are able to see the entry into SOST transaction code. And have you seen? The status is waiting. Why? Why it is waiting? Okay, because we do not have SMTP protocol. And we have set send immediately is also false. Yes, if set send immediately is false, mail will not go immediately. It depends upon the frequency which basis person has been set. But the entry is there. It means everything is perfectly fine. Now, I will show you same to same thing now. If I will set, set send immediately to true. Now, you will see that difference. Now, I am setting set send immediately to true. Now, just think about a scenario now. SMTP protocol is not configured and we are saying SAP to send immediately. It means this entry rather than waiting, it will go into a error state. Yes, entry will come into SOST. That is true. 
but it will be in error state. Why, why it will be in error state? Because system is trying to send into the inbox of the user immediately, but SMTP protocol is not there. So we will get the entry into error state. There's no difference if it is in error or waiting from our perspective, because we should get a entry in SOST. That is our task. After that, configuration of SMTP protocol is required. But I am just showing you the behavior. Previously, we told, do not send immediately. So what SAP did, SAP simply put the entry into SOST. It is not going to the inbox of the user. Now we are telling SAP to send immediately also. So I will get two error messages. One for this, one for this. And you all know very well how you can check your inbox through SPWP transaction code. So in that transaction code, you will get two messages in your inbox that your email sending failed email sending failed. This is the difference you will be able to see. Suppose if I'm running this particular program, I'm going for sales document number. Now immediately is true. Now I will not show you in that debugging mode because we already covered debugging two times. Done. Now if I will go to SBWP transaction code, SBWP transaction code, you will get two messages in your inbox. Just compare it to real world. You are sending a mail to wrong recipient. So you are getting a mail. Yes, you are a delivery failure. You are getting same to same thing is there. SMTP is not configured. System trying to send the mail. So system will get a delivery failure. So have you seen in my inbox, I'm getting a message. I'm getting a message. Okay, I will just go to read now because I clicked. So it moved to the read. Now you can see if I will double click here, it is clearly, clearly saying in one message itself, it is giving both the email address. It is failed. It is failed. And it is clearly saying no node determined. No node determined means SMTP protocol is not configured at all. That's why. Now, if I will show you SOST, in SOST, two entries will be there. If I will go to SOST, you can see we have two entries. Yes, they are in error state because we told these two entries to go immediately, but there is no SMTP configured. Now, if you will go to first, same to same thing will be there. Same to same. You can see everything is same. Now, if I will go to this entry also, same to same thing is there. So what is the summary of this particular video? We learned so many important things into this particular video. We understood the full process of sending a mail to external recipient. If you want to send a mail to external recipient, in the system SMTP protocol should be configured because whenever we want to send a mail, simple mail transfer protocol is required. But if it is not configured also, at least you can verify that everything is perfectly fine from your end or not. So you can check the entry in SOST transaction code. If everything, whatever you are doing in is going to SOST, 
and no one can blame you that there is a wrong process which you are following. You can simply tell whatever I am doing, it is in SOST transaction code. So it is a real indication that everything is perfectly fine from your end. We checked two scenarios. If we are going for set, send immediately inactive. At that point of time, we got the entries in the waiting state. If we send, we set, set, send immediately to true. In that case, what will happen? The protocol is not configured. SMTP protocol is not there. So I got two error messages in my inbox also. I'll not say two error message, one error message, which tell us about both the email addresses. And in SOST, I got two entries, one for the first email address and second for the second email address. So this is the full process of how to send a PDF form or Adobe form as an email attachment. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.